Hey guys, my name is Ben Worcester. I'm one of the uh, co-creators of Inside Public Schools Australia, the hit mockumentary series. Now today, at Radcliffe Secondary College, it's a very special day. Following the release of Inside Public Schools Australia, episode three, we're gonna be taking you on a tour of Radcliffe Secondary College and some of the most famous shooting locations for the lovely mockumentary series, Inside Public Schools Australia. Let's get to it. <laughs> All right, as you can see, longtime fans of the show will be familiar. This is the area of bark in this playground where Nancy Kettingworth famously buried the broccoli of our science teacher, Miss Timmis. Now, it isn't here at the moment. It's sunk into the earth, been lost uh, for the ages. But uh, just seeing this area of bark really, really reminds you of something great that once was. Hey guys, um, so um, you might not recognise where we are, so as you can see, may not look like much now, but um, this is actually where the craft club was from uh, episode one. Um, yeah, the school had a few renovations. Big old locker shed now, craft club's gone, we've relocated, it's over there, the new textiles room, so. Nothing we can do about it. I know it is sad, like, hold back your tears, buy some tissues or whatever, but this is where she used to be. So, yeah. Hey. All right, hey guys, it's um, the other co-creator of Inside Public Schools Australia, Jackson Parker here. Um, so today, while we're looking at famous uh, landmarks of Inside Public Schools Australia, I actually do have the hat that Mr. T uh, lended to Travis in the first film. And also right here is the the remaining area of the bubble taps that Travis got a drink out of. Now, as we can see, it is gone. It is truly sad, but look, the Bunnings hat's still here, guys, and believe it or not, she still works. All right, now, guys, believe it or not, this is actually the gate that Declan and myself walked through in the first film and that I walked through in the third film. Now, it is a very emotional time because, as we know, Declan McDermott has actually passed away. But look, this gate, it really represents like what's happening. Like Declan's life may have closed, but my life's still open. So we keep the gate like this just to um, remember Declan and everything he was. And just, yeah, we love you, Declan. Visit us soon.